Hey guys, so the camera shut off because of uh, recording too long, so I'm just going to start off where I think it left off um, with the life-changing manga of Tidying Up, which is how to clean up your life. This is based on the novel. Um, it's kind of cute. It's got a little fictional spin to it. It's nice. Um, and helped me clean my room, so that's great. Flying Witch 1-4, to four, this is a uh, slice of life series um, about a witch living in rural Japan learning how to be a witch, and it's cute and it's funny. Uh, Bloom Into You, Volumes 1 and 3. I still need to get Volume 2 um, so that I can start reading this. This is a Yuri series. Um, I don't know much about it. I just thought it looked interesting. Uh, Kashimashi is a Yuri series, Volume 1. I found this for a dollar. I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. Um, the Beautiful Skies of Ho-Hi, a series I am so disappointed was discontinued. Um, I believe two volumes were released in physical um, form. I didn't ever get my hands on Volume 2, and they stopped... As far as I know, it was stopped being written entirely, um, but I had read online much farther in. They just never published anymore, and I believe that the series was just discontinued in general. Um, it was really funny. I really like it, and I wish it had been continued. Love Stage 1-7 to seven Complete. This is one of my favorite boys' love series um, about a famous guy who um, falls in love with another famous guy, and they go through their issues of being in love with another guy, and then and then just start going out. Um, only Serious About You, 1 and 2 Complete. Very sweet series about a single dad who falls in love with another man, and it's just really cute. Sleeping Moon, 1 and 2, this is complete. I haven't read this series, I know nothing about it. Uh, Jackass, my favorite Yaoi series. This is so funny, so good. Um, I don't know if I've made a single video on it, but I have talked about it before. It's funny. It's about a fetish um, and exploring um, exploring your sexuality through a fetish, and then also all the side characters kind of coming to terms with their own sexuality and whatever. It's great. I love it. A Place in the Sun, short story, yaoi stuff. Haven't read it yet. Century of Temptation is a vampire yaoi. It's one shot. It was okay. Sleepless Nights, one shot. It was pretty good um, about, I believe, college students, maybe they're high school students, um, roommates coming to terms with their sexuality. Caramel, um, again, roommates. These are adults, though, for sure, and Caramel. It was cute. It was enjoyable. Ninth Life Love is about a boy whose cat dies, and then later in his life, the cat comes back to him personified, and it's another boy's love title. It was cute. Uh, Tableau numero 20. I haven't read this. It's something about a painter falling in love with a painting or something and another boy's love. Spiritual Police and Blue Morning, uh, both volume ones of some Yaoi series I don't know much about. Castle Mango, volume two. I want to get my hands on volume one so bad. The cover of this is really, really nice, and I just really wish I owned volume one, um, but it is out of print, so hopefully one day. Not So Bad is a Korean boys' love series. It was okay. It wasn't fantastic. Ajin, volumes 1 through 10. One of my favorite kind of shonen esque battle action series. Not really battle, I guess, but it's about a terrorist kind of organization and these humans who can't die. And it's a lot of fun. It is so good. It has one of my favorite villains ever. Um, yeah, it's just really, really cool. Flowers of Evil, one of my favorite all-time series uh, by Shuzo Oshimi, um, about kind of the age around puberty. It's about um, sexual exploration and coming to terms with yourself and learning about yourself. And yeah, it's really, really good. And that's all 11 volumes complete. Then I've got Devil's Line, volumes 1 through 9. I believe this is all that's out currently. Um, this is kind of a vampire-esque demon series. Um, kind of vampires-ish versus the police kind of thing. Um, it's pretty good. It's not fantastic, but I do like it enough to keep buying it when it comes out. I Am a Hero is a zombie apocalypse manga. Um, I'm sure most of you know what this is. Um, just kind of about an unhinged, mentally unhinged guy who finds himself in a zombie apocalypse. Then we've got Ikigami, The Ultimate Limit. 
Um, this is a fantastic series. Um, highly, highly recommend it. It is a utopian society or something, just dystopian, I don't know, sci-fi, um, about kind of government control through murder. And uh, yeah, it is just really, really cool. Then we've got Tokyo Ghoul. Sorry about the camera. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this to... Okay. Tokyo Ghoul, the full four, uh, first series, 1 through 14, as well as Tokyo Ghoul Re, volumes 1 and 2. I haven't read Tokyo Ghoul Re yet, but I'm sure you all know what Tokyo Ghoul is. Monster, volume 2 and 3, perfect editions. I will eventually own this whole series, I just haven't gotten around to picking it up. Happiness, another Shuso Oshimi title, 1 through 6, all that is currently out, unfortunately. I cannot wait for the next volume of this. This is a vampire series. Again, Shuzo Oshimi's works all pretty much have to do with coming of age and um, sexual exploration kind of things. Um, yeah, this is a great series. Inuyashiki 1 through 10 complete by the same author who did Gantz. Um, Sci-fi series, really cool. Awesome artwork. A um, lot of fun. MW by... Osamu Tezuka, this is the full one-shot um, volume. Really, really cool government weapons of mass destruction and uh, serial killer. It's just a lot of fun. It is so good. Really, really enjoyed it. The Book of Human Insects, also by Osamu Tezuka. Um, also one volume about kind of terrible people who feed off of other people. Um, not literally, but figuratively. Um, lots, lots of fun to read. Uh, Lychee Light Club, this is the other Usamaru Furia title, um, that I was talking about. Really, really good horror. If you have a queasy, like, if you're, if you're easily disgusted, I would not recommend reading that. It is very graphic, very disturbing, really gross. Such a good horror. Then I've got Dream Fossil by Satoshi Kon. This is a bunch of short stories that he wrote. Um, in his early manga writing days. Then I've got Tropic of the Sea, also by Satoshi Kon. Um, just kind of a fantasy mermaid series, um, but kind of got a psychological, almost horror-esque vibe to it. Then we've got, down here, I've got number six, volumes one through nine complete. Um, this is a Shonen Eye sci-fi uh, utopian society series really fun then we've got volumes 1 through 29 of the wallflower um, I got this all used for a really good price there are I think 36 in total um, I believe I'm on volume 5 this is a comedy not really romance series it's a bunch of episodic stories about this group of pretty guys who are trying to give this uh, ugly girl a makeover in order to get free rent from their landlady who happens to be the aunt of the girl. Then we've got Peachy Peachy Pitch, 1 through 7, Mermaid Melody. Um, I don't know much about this series to be completely honest. I've read one volume and don't really get it. I got it used really cheap. Um, Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, 1 through 7. I got these used. I like this series. I would love to get more, but there's so many of them, and I don't care enough. Um, but I've enjoyed what I've read so far. Your Name, Volumes 1 and 2. This is the manga, not the light novel. Um, yeah, I don't think I have to say much about that. Orange, Complete Collection, 1 and 2. Again, I don't need to say much about that. Uh, then we've got, down here, Chibi Vampire 3 through 10, I believe. Um, I found those used. Hopefully I'll get one and two one day so I can actually read most of this. I believe there's 13 or 14 in total. Um, Vampire Night 1 through 5. I bought them used. I watched the anime years ago. Don't care enough to buy it um, or read it, really. I just own them. Uh, Me and My Brothers. Really, really cute series about a girl who goes to live with her stepbrothers that she didn't know existed. Um, there's 11 volumes in total. I only own four. I wish I could get more of them. It's so cute. Eerie Query, uh, a very old Shonen Eye series, kind of fantasy-esque about a boy who can get taken over by spirits. Um, yeah, it's it's fun, I guess. 
Demon Diary. This is a manhwa series, kind of shonen eye esque uh, 1, 2, 3, and 7 are what I own. 7 is the final volume. Hopefully one day I will get more and fill in the gaps for that. Dean Angel, Volume 8, 9, and 11. Um, again, I found them used. If I find the rest of the volumes, that's awesome, but I don't really care enough. The Tarot Cafe, right here. Another manhwa series that I actually really enjoyed. I believe there's seven volumes or something. Um, I don't remember what it's about, but I remember enjoying it. Othello, I think volumes 2, 3, and 5. Found these used. I believe this is a shoujo series. Um, I'd like to read it. I really, really want to read it, so I hope I find the other volumes. Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad, the same series I have the anime for. This is volume 8, 9, 10, and 11. Um, this was discontinued. It, they didn't finish printing it here, unfortunately. I believe there's 20-something volumes in Japan. I think there's only like 12 released here, or 14 or something. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, never complete that, but hopefully I'll be able to find the other volumes that were released here. Tokyo Babylon um, by Clamp. Um, I don't really have anything to say about that. I found them used. Loveless 1, 2, 9, 10, and 11. I don't care about this series. I found these for so cheap. If I find the others for cheap, I'll buy them, but I don't care about this series. I think it's a Shonen I series. It doesn't interest me. Mushishi, Volumes 1, 2, and then the Omnibus 8, 9, 10. Um, I found these. I found I paid $6 for this. Sorry, I paid $4 for this and $1 each for those. So, yeah, those are so hard to find. I probably will never find the other volumes of it, but I'm glad to own what I have. Recipe for Gertrude, Volumes 1 and 2. I believe there's five in total. I can't get into this series. I just, I'm glad I own it because it's a CMX release, but I don't really care about it, honestly. Card Captor Sakura, 1 and 5, and then 2 and 4 of the second half of it. Um, I want the Tokyo Pop single editions because I like the covers better. Um, so I'm slowly but surely collecting them. A Gundam spinoff. I've never read Gundam. I found those cheap. The covers looked cool, so I bought them. And that's volumes two and three. I think there's 12 of this spinoff. Um, I See in a Sunflower by Mitsukazu Maihara. This is a really cool short story collection. If you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. It was so cool. Oh, now this will be tough to get these ones down here. Um, I've got Trigun, volume one. I've never read it, found it used. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Original Series Volume 1. I really enjoyed that. I was surprised. Um, I bought that so many years ago, used, and I just recently read it and really enjoyed it. Shaman King 1 and 2. Never read it, found those used. Fairy Tale Volume 2 and Fairy Tale Zero. Um, I read a good chunk of Fairy Tale. Like, I think I'm in the 40s for the volumes, um, reading-wise, but... I don't have a, any plan on buying them. I bought this volume two when it came out, and I bought this used, and I haven't read it yet. I've got Death Note volumes one, five, seven, and eight. I bought those used. I've read Death Note. I've watched Death Note. Don't really have any inclination to collect it, um, but when I find them used, I pick them up. Volume one of Negima, the Omnibus three and one. I love Negima. Um, I've read the whole series. I absolutely love it. It is probably one of the only harem series that I really, really enjoy. Then I've got volume 27, 38, 39, 43, 48, 49, 50, 51 of Naruto. Um, I used to be a huge Naruto fan when I was like 10, so that's why I have those. Um, yeah. Claymore volume 6, I found that used. I've read the first five of Claymore from the library, and then incidentally haven't read the one I own. Death Jam is a manhwa series. This is volume three. There are three in total. I know nothing about it. I thought the art was cool, so I bought it. Fruits Basket, 13 and 17. I've read Fruits Basket many times. I don't really want to collect the series unless I find the new releases of them by Yen Press um, for a decent price. I'm not going to go out of my way to buy them. Fumi Yoshinaga's Truly Kindly. This is a 
Yaoi short story collection, Shout Out Loud Volume 1, and Menkui Volume 2 and 3, all Yaoi series that I bought a really, really long time ago, used. And in the end, Red Blinds the Foolish, also Yaoi, in the end is the worst manga I've ever read in my entire life. It is so bad. Um, poorly written, really terrible. Red Blinds the Foolish, I haven't read the whole thing yet. Um, it's by another, I own another title by this author. Um, Peach Girl, Volume 3. I'd love to read Peach Girl. I've never read it before. I found this volume randomly. Um, I'd love to own the series and read it. Hibiki's Magic, random volume I don't care about. Girl Got Game, I'd love to read this series too. This is like a sh uh, sports shoujo. I think it's basketball related. I don't know. I'd love to read it. But there are 10 volumes in total, I think, and I only own volume 8. Heaven's Will is a one-shot um, kind of cross-dressing thing. I don't know. It was okay. Dengeki Daisy 6 and 7. I used to really love Dengeki Daisy. Don't much care for it anymore. Uh, maybe if I reread it, I'd like it, but not going to collect the volumes or go out of my way to. Backstage Prince Volume 1. Um, I can't wait to get Volume 2 so I can actually read this. There's only two volumes, so Nana Volume 2. Um, Nana's amazing. I don't have to say anything about that. I feel bad that I only own one volume of it. I really, really would like to own the rest of them. And I really wish that the series was finished, but it isn't. Kimi ni Todoke, another great series. There's like 28 volumes out right now. There's no way I'm collecting those right now. I'm hoping they'll do a box set or something in the future. And then I will buy it because I love Kimi ni Todoke, but not enough to pay that much money for it. Um, Strobe Edge Volume 10 is brand new. When I get the rest of these, this will go higher up on my shelf. Um, but I can't wait to read it. And then we've got Honey Blood, Volume 0 and Volume 2. I'm just missing Volume 1. I found these used. It's a vampire shoujo series. I don't really care about it. Kokoro Connect. I own the whole anime series. I bought this because I, I don't really know why, honestly. I found it used and I just bought it. Um, I don't plan on reading it or buying the rest of them. Then I have a Japanese English dictionary and a Princess Eye poetry hardcover poetry book thing, sticker book. Someone bought it for me. I've never read Princess Eye, or nor do I care about it. So that's just down there. So that, finally, is all of the manga I own. I believe it's 612 volumes or something like that. It's a little over 600 anyways. Um, yeah. If you want to chat about any of these series in the comments, definitely let me know. If you want me to make a video about any of these series that I haven't already, then definitely let me know. Thank you for watching. And, uh, yeah. See ya.